Now let's talk about acceleration. Definition is the rate of change of velocity. Symbol of it is A and the SI unit is M slash S squared. It is a vector, so an attitude and a direction. And the formula for acceleration should be A is equals to V minus U over T. V is the final speed, U is the initial speed, and T is the time taken to get from the initial speed to the final speed. Let's look at some examples. So over here, um, we have a car. Initially, it's over here, and it is moving at 20 meters per second. Then, after a while, we take the speed over here, and we see it's also 20 meters per second. So the initial velocity, u, is 20 meters per second, and the final velocity, v, is 20 meters per second. The time taken to travel from here to here is 10 seconds. So how do we do the calculations? A equals to V minus U over T, which is equals to 20 minus 20 divided by 10. And that should get me an acceleration of 0 meters per second squared. So from here, we can see that if there is no difference in the initial velocity and the final velocity, there will be 0 acceleration. The velocity is constant, therefore there will be no acceleration. So now let's take a look at the second case. Now, the initial velocity is 20 meters per second. However, now the final velocity is 40 meters per second. And the time taken to get from 20 meters per second to 40 meters per second is 10 seconds. Acceleration is V as U over T, once again. V, the final speed is 40. And U, the initial speed is 20. So you get 40 minus 20, and so you divide it all by the time taken to get from this speed to this speed, and that is 10 seconds. So, completing the equation, the acceleration of the car was 2 meters per second squared. The velocity is increasing, and the object is accelerating. Now we have the final case of acceleration, when the car is initially at 20 meters per second. And after that, we check the final velocity, and it becomes 5 meters per second. And then once again, it takes 10 seconds to go from this speed to this speed. You can see now that the final speed is less than the initial speed. So how do we go about it? Same thing. Let's sub it in. Acceleration is equal to V minus U over T. And therefore, the final speed is 5 minus the initial speed of 20. Divide this by 10. And you should get a negative 1.5 meters per second squared. So, this is shown that acceleration can also be negative. Velocity is decreasing, and therefore, the object is decelerating. Negative acceleration, or when an object reduces its velocity or speed, this is known as deceleration. Or in some older practices, it may be called retardation.